So hi everyone, welcome back to data science in your pocket and Facebook Meta has just now dropped in a reasoning small model that is mobile LLM R1 into multiple sizes. The biggest one is 950M as you can see and there are multiple variants of this hence a small reasoning model has been released and this looks quite exciting and we have a great time ahead for small LLMs. I think if you remember Nvidia recently re released a research paper also telling that small LLMs are the future of agentic AI and hence this looks to be a stepping stone in that direction. So in this short video I would be explaining you the different features of the model and then we will be trying out the model as well from Hugging Face. This is an open source model. Meta Mobile LLM R1. So if you don't know Meta has already released Mobile LLM also last year which was small re reasoning which was a small LLM but not a reasoning one. This time they have released a reasoning version as well. Different variants. Let's see base models are 140M, 360 and 950. 140M is very very small my friends. And the final versions comes out as like this. 140, 360 and 950. And here are the different layers also that are mentioned here. 15, 15 layers. The attention head is changed in 140 and 360 variant. And in the 950 variant, layers plus attention head is both changed. In a small version, I think the context length is 4K, while in the biggest one, it is about 32K, which is quite huge given the size of the model. Training efficiency, as you can see, compared to Quen 3, 0 0.6 billion, that is 600 million parameters. Mobile LLM R1 training efficiency is better. I think it is using less than 5 trillion tokens. And as you can see, Quen 3, 0 0.6 billion was using about 7 times more tokens compared to mobile LLM so it is highly efficient data quality per smart training outweighs brute force scaling talking about the benchmarks the model is looking quite good and as you can see it is compared to the other small LLMs it is already quite good for mathematics and programming as well as mentioned as you can see on the graphs that are present for math it is beating out the models by a huge margin for MMLU also it's, it's almost base and you can see the larger baselines it is almost similar when you're talking about the similar size models it is better even for live code bench that is a coding programming ability the model looking quite good 950M model performs like a 2 to 3 billion parameter model which is a great achievement because the model size is very less talking about the architecture snapshot I think we have already talked about this the hidden dimension is 2048, 4096 and 6144 given the model size. I think layers and attention heads we have already talked about. Shared embeddings, vocabulary is 128k, text in, text out. They are not multi-model. Openness and reproducibility. I think this is the most important part that it has been completely open source. Full training recipes are also released. Data sources have been made transparent and reproducible pipeline has been given this is a rare openness in reasoning focus model because previously i think for reasoning models not everything is released so now you can replicate an entirely new reasoning model using this why it matters it matters a lot because small models are required for production grade problems you can't deploy a 600 billion parameter model like deep seek r1 in your production to be very honest Big small models, big impact, quality over scaling. Data quality beats raw scaling. Smart training is used. Challenges bigger is better narrative. Maths and coding excellence. I think the benchmarks are proving that the model is already quite good. And for the ecosystem, developers, researchers, and community. So before we wrap this up, let's try out the code snippet as well. So the model is quite easy to use as you can see. It has some guardrails so that you can you need to take an approval on Hugging Face. I have taken that. Once you are done, you need to get your read token from Hugging Face. And the rest of the code is quite similar. As you can see, I'm using the 950 variant here. Mobile LLM R1 950. The model gets loaded. And here you can see the generation is quite easy. As for other transformer based models, you're providing a message. Please reason step by step and put your final answer within. And here is a mathematical problem given. The model is quite good for maths and programming. You are now passing a message, role content, 
and other role and then you're passing it to the model pipe it's, it's very similar to previous models that we have trained out and here you can see that we are getting an output it's quite long and the reason i'm not jumping into the output but here you can see that we are now able to run the codes too the so codes are present on hugging face let me show you that too so if you scroll down below to the same page here are the codes present you first need to load the model from transformers auto model for causal lm and then this is the code snippet so i will be sharing the link in the comment section below and how i hope you try out mobile llm r1 this looks to be a great model if you want to have efficient llms in your local system or in your mobile too thank you so much i hope you have a great day